morning everyone. Well, it's morning for me. Maybe it's morning for you, maybe it's not. But either way, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Julia and this is Julia at Home. And in this video, I'm going to share with you our resources for our study of South America. If you haven't already, go back and check out my introduction to our preschool around the world geography study that we've done. Um, we're doing in the year, let's see, 2017 and 2018 school year. Um, I will link that up above and I've also already made a video for North America. Um, so this is our passport. This is actually my daughter's. It's pink. And these are the countries that we um, learned a little bit about or read books that took place in in um, South America. So we've got Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Paraguay. And I'm going to jump into the books. So this uh, is the Usborne Illustrated Fables from Around the World. And the story we used in this one is Fire of the Jaguar. I like this book quite a bit. You can see all the tabs for all the different uh, countries that we're going to visit this book with. Um, this one's from Brazil. It's a story about a boy. Um, Indigenous, he lives in a uh, tribe in the rainforest. Again, it's a myth, so it's, it's you know, it's supposed to take place a while back. And a jaguar. So that's from Usborne Illustrated Fables Around the World. This also takes place in Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. And this is a lovely book. I ended up buying this one. I found a used copy. Um, they, the men are going to chop down a tree in the rainforest and one of them falls asleep at the foot of it and as he's sleeping all the animals come and whisper in his ear about what that tree means to them um, and it's fun it's got all the, the different animals from the rainforest and he does not cut down the tree so that's a good one. That So those are the two we did for Brazil. This one takes place in Colombia. There's Waiting for the Biblioboro. There's another one I think that's just called Biblioboro and I think either of them are fine. This is the one I found at my library. It's in English and Spanish. So it's another one of those books that, you know, if you're studying Spanish, would be a great addition. We really enjoyed it. It's, um, you know, we go to the library all the time and we have access to all these books. And sometimes, you know, you can take that for granted when you've got all these things. And um, it just, you know, reinforces the love of books as well as makes it, you know, uh, it helps us understand that not everybody has the access to these books that we do and um, helps us feel more grateful for the ones that we did the access that we do have so that's waiting for the biblioboro and again he's he's a walking library on a donkey in case i didn't make that clear that goes around to these mountain towns that they don't have libraries so the kids wait for him to switch out their books it's a beautiful story ada's violin is based on a true story of the recycled orchestra of paraguay it is so cool it is just such a cool story so um, the town is built on a landfill and they just spend their time like in the landfill digging stuff out um, and this organization started making, helping these kids make instruments out of the junk in the landfill and start an orchestra and you can, this is a true story and you can actually find, um, I, I went and found videos on YouTube of them playing, it is, the, it is just so cool. I will try to also put a link uh, in my resources when I, I list um, the resources on my blog for this video. I will try to also find a link to that video because you should read this book and then watch it. I mean, there's no way you can read this book and not want to watch it. It is, it is so cool. And then Peru. This is Up and Down the Andes. Um, this is a, it's Barefoot or Bare Feet is the company um, and they make some nice books. It's, there's a story um, kind of a story. It's like a journey. Um, all these kids are traveling through Peru, coming from the different areas of Peru. 
and then they end up they end up in the capital. Well, they end up in Cusco, which was the capital of the Incas. I am, you know what, I should know if it's the capital of Peru, and I'm sorry I don't know if it's the current capital. But they're going for the um, the Sun Festival, basically their summer solstice, which would be in December, I believe, um, when we have our winter solstice up here. Oh, I am completely wrong. It's June 24th. It's their winter solstice. Okay, so I was wrong, but <laughs> we actually read this towards the beginning, so it's been a little while since I read it. I apologize. Um, but yes, the book has a story, and then it's got more information in the back. Um, that's it's, it's very informative, but it's still really easy for kids to understand, um, and I like the pictures. So that is Up and Down the Andes. So after we read Up and Down the Andes in Peru, we wanted to learn a little bit more about Machu Picchu. It mentions it quickly in the book. So I actually found a documentary online about Machu Picchu. I found a short one at first that we watched, and then my daughter and I were fascinated, so I found a longer one. Um, but I, I got printed out this coloring page. I will try to see if I can find those videos again and link to those as well. And then this led, <laughs> led us down a little bit of a rabbit hole um, to study the Incas, which was super fun. When I was in elementary school, I was obsessed with ancient cultures, um, the Incas, the Maya, the Aztecs, as well as you know ancient Rome, Greece, Egypt, all those things. And so to see my daughter also take an interest um, was super fun and we could do it together. Unfortunately, I do not still have those books. They are back at the library, um, but I did, ha I did take a picture. So I will insert the picture here. Um, we read, it's from the series um, you wouldn't want to be, and it was you wouldn't want to be an Inca mummy, and it's the the series is really fun. I'm sorry I don't have a copy of the book to open up and show you, um, but you can look at it online. There may be other reviews if you search on YouTube of that series. You wouldn't want to be, um, but it it just goes through the life of um, the Inca, um, the you know the head Inca guy, and I'm again blanking on the name, but um, it's it's really fun. It's got a lot of pictures and they're kind of cartoonish, but it really is engaging for kids. And then I also just got a, you know, a basic reference book on the Incas, but we enjoyed reading through that and learning more about that, about them um, through that book as well. The animal that my daughter chose for South America is the jaguar. Um, I think the story from the Fables book inspired her. So this is just um, a book I found on jaguars from our library. I think it was the only one they had. Um, you could look at your library. They might have different ones. I don't think it, it really matters. Um, and then this is the page that she did that I wrote. Um, she um, told me the facts and I wrote out uh, about jaguars. So that was our animal for South America. So we did, along with South America, a South American poetry tea. Um, and it was super fun and yummy because we actually started by making alfajores, which are a cookie. I believe they're from either Chile or Colombia. And they might be from both. There might be different different versions of it from the different uh, countries. But we made a recipe from alfajores. I just found the recipe on Pinterest. And I will insert a picture here of our poetry tea when we made them there. It's like a soft cookie with uh, dulce de, de leche in the middle. They're super sweet and delicious. And along with that, we read some poetry books. I actually have this one and the next one are not poetry books, but they are um, picture biographies of poets. So Pablo Neruda, um, I believe he's born in Chile. And um, it's just a... Uh, a picture book of his life and this can pair really well if you find some poetry of his to read so yeah it just talks about his life and him becoming a poet and then similarly my name is Gabito which is about the life of Gabriel Garcia Marquez uh, who's from Colombia And it's again a story of his life and writing. Um, 
and he wasn't a he was a an author. You it, you may have read some of his books. Um, he's a pretty popular author, but um, it's a fun book for talking about imagining things and writing stories. And so it it could also pair really well with a unit when you're you're starting creative writing and encouraging your child to use their imagination and write. He's a great example to use. So that is my name is Gabito. And then this is just a traditional Spanish nursery rhyme book. Um, I don't think it's specific to necessarily to South America, but um, we just, you know, bred some of the stuff in, in Spanish. And another book that I don't have here, it's very popular at the library and they always want it back, is Arroz con Leche, um, which is also Spanish, um, Spanish rhymes and poems. And that might actually be... Um, more of a North America book, but I use them both for our uh, South American poetry tea just to add some Spanish into it. So that was South America. I hope that you liked it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up below, and please subscribe to see more videos. Next, we are moving on to Europe. Talk to you later.